how to build and edit slides after you've already shared them with your students. Have you ever shared a Google slide presentation or workshop with your students only to discover that you've left something out or made a mistake, but many of your students had already started working on the slides and then you had the hassle of having to fix the problem, share the new version of the slides and try to get your students to transfer all of their work from the old presentation onto the new presentation. This is Jenny Walker from DigiGoods and Printables ELA and I have a Google Slides hack so useful you might think it's magic. I'm going to show you how to edit slides and build a presentation after you've already shared it with your students. There are a lot of reasons why you might want to edit a slide or a presentation after you've begun after you've already shared it. Maybe you made a mistake and need to fix it or maybe you forgot to add a link or maybe you need to add content as your students progress through a lesson. In this video, I'm working with a digital daily student agenda that I created. Side note, you can download this for free. The link is in the description. In this case, I want to add daily instructions, bell ringers, assignments, homework, etc. at my convenience. I don't want to have to plan the entire month before sharing it and I don't want to have to create a new copy and share it for each day of the week. Doing that would create a lot of disorganization for me and for my students. To have that many copies in our drives would be a nightmare. So for this resource, it makes sense to create one presentation for each month of school and then I'll add content to it daily or weekly depending on how much time I have to plan ahead for that month. In this presentation, I have a slide for each uh, month of the year and I'm just going to start with August. And the first thing I'll do is make a separate presentation for August. I'm going to hit File, make a copy of the selected slide. I'll name this um, Master Copy for August or something like that. And then I will immediately make a copy for, uh, make a student copy. You can label that student copy for August or whatever you like to, would like to call it. You might be wondering why I would make a student copy before I add the content. Here's why. In order to make edits on the student copies, I have to link my slides to the master copy. Don't worry, it is super easy. However, Google Slides will not allow me to link an entire presentation, but it will allow me to link all of the slides that I copy from one presentation and paste into another. So this is why I needed to create both of these copies first. So now I'll click back over to my master copy and here's where I'll prepare my slides. I won't be adding content yet, but rather I'll just duplicate the slides. Since there are 22 days in August, I'll duplicate 22, I'll duplicate this slide 22 times. So you may not need that many depending on what day you start or if you start in a different month, but you get the picture. So to duplicate this slide, I'll hit Control C, Control V, 22 times. Let's, we'll pretend like that's 22 times. Now I have a slide for every day of the week. And now I need to copy all of these slides just the way they are into my student presentation. I haven't added content yet to them because I will do that as I as I progress through the, the week or the day. First I will highlight, I will hold the control button and I'll click each slide that I want to cop that I want to copy. We'll pretend like that's one for every day of the month. And I'll hit control C and now they're copied or you can right click and hit copy or however you do it on your computer. And now I'll go to my student copy and I'll paste these in. On my computer it's control V or you can also right click. And here's the magic. I need to hit link to original presentation. If I don't do this, 
then I won't be able to make edits that will show up on my student slides. So I'll click link to original presentation and you'll notice that each student slide has this little linked icon. That means it is linked back to my copy. Whenever I make it a, an edit on that slide, in this case, whenever I add in my content, my students will get a box that says update and they'll be able to update and see everything that I've done. I'll show you how that works. So I work out of my master copy and I can begin adding my content. Let's say I'm planning my daily agenda for August the 3rd of Tuesday. And so I will just, this little circle is movable and I just move this to show what date uh, this slide is for and students can see that also. So they'll know that we're working on Tuesday, August the 3rd. And then I would begin clicking into my boxes to add content. I've already done a little bit of that. Whoops. So I'll show you what that would look like. <clears throat> I would just click in and type away, add anything that I want to add. I can even add links, which is extra cool. And students will see this real time. So if I click back over to my student copy, notice that this slide says update. And just like magic, when they hit update, they will see all of the edits that I've made. So I can then move to, I can move to the next day. I can plan out a week ahead of time. I could plan out a day. I could plan out the whole month, however I want to do this. Students quickly get in the habit of logging in and updating their daily agenda to see what's up for the day. And as a side thought, I absolutely love these digital agendas because students can never lose them, unlike paper, and parents can see what their students are doing from anywhere. Also, I love being able to add links, definitely not something you can do on paper. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you'd like a free copy of this digital daily agenda, just click in the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more classroom technology hacks. Again, I'm Jenny Walker from Digi Goods and Printables ELA, and I will see you next time.